Hey everyone, this is Imanshu from Salesforce Makes Sense and this is use case 12 of our Apex Masterclass series. We've come a long way and we are on the 12th use case now. We are just practicing our way around Apex by writing small use cases, small snippets and small nuggets of code. And that's basically improving our understanding of Apex. That's the idea behind these use cases. All right. So use case 12 says that you need to write a method to identify the last five tasks created today. Okay, so just take a look at the keywords properly. The five tasks created today, but the last five ones, meaning the very recent five ones. Okay, that's the use case. For those of you who are confident with the Sockle queries and writing this small piece of code, go ahead, pause the video and try it on your own and let me know if you are able to do it on your own. And for those of you who want to follow along, let's create a new Apex class. I'll call this Apex use case 12. Perfect. And then I'll just go ahead and remove the constructor and I'll just create a method. And what should be the return type of the method? The method return type should basically be a list of tasks, correct? Because it needs to identify the five tasks that were created today, correct? So the return type of the method should be list of task. That's correct. Okay, return latest tasks is the method name and I don't need any number all right and what can i do i can simply say return this is very straightforward i can simply query out my tasks by saying select id from task i don't even need a where clause or do i i'll simply say order by created date this will give you the order by created date desk what does that mean this means in descending order of the created date I want to query all the IDs from the task and how many do I need? I simply need five. So I'll say limit five. And that is it. That's your entire use case written in just one line of code. Does that make sense? Let's try to deploy it. Let's say deploy. Do I need a where clause here? What do you guys think? Do, you, do we need a where clause because it says created today? So it, it is already being sorted by ordered by created date. So it will definitely pick up whatever is created today and the latest five ones. So you don't have to put a where clause separately for checking today's date. Hope that makes sense. All right. Awesome. Let's open this particular use case and let's first of all take a look at our system and see if we have any tasks created today or not. Ideally, they will not be created today. So how many are there? There are four. All right. And what is the subject on them? Follow up, follow up, talk to a stranger, visit premises. Okay. And let's take a look at the created date. Execute. So you see the created date is a bit behind. It is 7th of the 7th month. What's that? That's basically July 7th, right? Which is not today, which means we do have to put a where clause check. Why? Because the use case says I only need five tasks if they are created today not for the previous days so if there's none created today okay don't return anything meaning in this case what we have written will return the four tasks that we have created which is wrong correct let's try it out and let me just quickly show you what i'm saying let's refresh and let's open apex use case 12. apex use case 12 and it basically I'll just go ahead and call it out. I'll just say apex use case 12 dot return latest tasks. No method parameters required here. And I'll just say execute. So ideally, this will return you all the four tasks. If you say debug, you see all the four tasks have shown up, all the IDs. But is this correct? No, because the created date is in the past. It is not today's date, which is why we have to put the created date check. So where created date is equal to today. That's it. Let's try to save it out. And now let's try to execute it. Now it will basically return null it, because there's nothing that's created today. You see, this is empty. Now it works fine. All right. So this where clause was needed indeed. And you see how I put it here where created it equal to today, followed by the order by clause and then followed by the desk keyword for descending and then the limit keyword. All right, for those of you who are finding this a bit dizzy or fuzzy, take a look at my Sockle video, the Sockle and Sossel video in this playlist. Okay, it's it's uh, it's been uh, shared and uh, everything is shown as a crash course on Sockle and Sossel in some in 
in some video behind like i mean probably 45th or 46th video of this playlist okay so take a look at that and then you you will get a hang of sockel and uh, social queries all right awesome that was a very plain simple use case i'll just sync my vs code instead of writing it here you see how do i sync it i can simply say retrieve this source from org and this will get me the latest changes see the where clause came all right so it's very good to practice writing code and deploying de committing pushing pulling code from and to vs code that's a good practice because that gives you a greater control in terms of how you write code okay awesome that was use case number 12 i'll see you in the next one bye